Welcome back to Bad News Kenya. This is where we give you the latest updates in Kenya and around the world. Now more pain for employers as they will face fines running into millions for various infractions should the social health insurance bill proposed by President William Ruto's administration sell through. The bill tabled in Parliament by National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Ishungwa proposes a 1 million fine for employers who do not remit their employees' contribution to the fund on time. Employers who excessively deduct from their employees' salaries will also be subject to a 1 million fine. What's more, employers could potentially face imprisonment for up to three years if they are convicted of offenses related to mishandling their employees' deduction. On the other hand, Kenyans who impersonate others to receive monetary benefits will also be fined 1 million or face one year in prison. And I quote from his statement, For the purposes of obtaining any benefit for himself or herself or for any other person knowingly, makes any false statement or representation or produces or furnishes or causes to be produced or furnished any document or information which he or she knows to be false in any material particular commits an offense. End of quote from that particular uh, bill that has been proposed by the executive. Apart from employers, receptors will also face substantial fines for offenses like falsifying claims to increase their reimbursement from the fund. The bill proposes 500,000 fine for inside where health facilities manipulate documents to obtain payment from the fund. Moreover, the penalties may include suspension from and removal from the fund's programs. Conversely, Kenyans who manage in identity impersonation to receive financial benefits will be subject to one million fine or one year jail term as an alternative.